set up your email auto reply in Yahoo. Hi, I'm Samantha Studebaker Carl from blogwithsamantha.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an automated email reply inside your Yahoo email account. So first thing you want to do obviously is get logged in and uh, once you're logged in you can go ahead and click on you and what in the world? I don't want to do that right now. Yahoo. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I need to click on the mail, not on me. Click on mail. Okay, so then once you're inside your email account, you're going to go over here to where it has your little settings icon, this little cog, and click on settings. And that's going to bring up this wonderful little menu that gives you all kinds of options. And if you're wanting to set up an email auto reply, you just need to go to Vacation Response. And then you're going to click on Enable during these dates. Now, unfortunately, Yahoo does not have the option to have it set up indefinitely. So if you want to set it up from now until a very long period of time, just pick a year that is, you know, multiple years into the future. And, uh, you know, every once in a while you want to recheck your signature anyway to make sure it still says what you want it to say. So what we're going to do then is we're just going to go ahead and jump over to my little notepad and grab the, the signature or the automated reply that I want to use. And I'm going to go ahead and um, grab this whole thing, copy paste that all in there then you're going to have to edit it obviously to look right because they don't give you a whole lot of space in here so we're just going to edit this a little bit fix our spelling Huge space there, isn't it? Oops. Just going to edit that, make it look all pretty. Now, unfortunately, in here, it uh, it won't let you put in links, which is kind of disappointing. I thought Yahoo was a little more advanced than this, but it's not. If you want to be able to put in links, then get a Gmail account. They're much better, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, um, so I was going to put my Facebook URL in here. I want be a, I want people to be able to connect with me on Facebook. They can get a hold of me easier there. And then of course my name. And I also want people to be able to find me on my blogs. So I put my blog URLs in here also. Normally I put an image in my signature, but again Yahoo doesn't allow you to do that. Um, so I'm just going to um, put the links and that sort of stuff in here. And by the way, guys, if you're in business for yourself in some way, shape, or form, or your online business or something like that, you always want to include a PS line that promotes something that you're doing um, because this is, you know, valuable real estate online that you can take advantage of. So you want to be sure and do that. Now, if you're in business for yourself in some other way, then promote something related to that business. You know, if you're in a pet salon, then promote something related to that, you know, something about say, I don't know, discount on toenail trimmings or something, you know, whatever it is that you happen to be doing, always include a PS line because that's a powerful way to passively market to the people that you're communicating with. And of course, if you're not in business for yourself, then, um, you know, that's not something that you need to worry about. You just put your little automated reply in there and letting people know what you, what's up with you and how they can connect with you. Um, okay, so then if you want to get a, a sample sent to you to see what it's going to look like, you can, of course, click on that 
and it will uh, it'll send a sample to your your uh, inbox there. That after you're done, you want to make sure go ahead and click on save. And why we sure where we got this failure notice? Oh, that's not even related. Something completely different. Okay, so I don't know why it didn't send me the. Um, maybe it went in the spam folder. Nope. Maybe it's going to take a minute to get that. There it is. Okay, from me, vacation response. Hello, thanks for contacting me. I received your message, but I'm unable to contact to respond at the moment. Okay, so you have that in there. Now, for some reason, it calls it a vacation response. Now, I don't know if it's just going to automatically say that to everybody that um, you have an auto reply to from um, Yahoo. If it does, that that's kind of bummer. Um, but I don't know how to fix that, unfortunately. If you want something that's actually going to reply with what you want it to say, uh, again, I, I suggest using Gmail. So, But obviously, if you're already in Yahoo, you're in Yahoo. Use it to the best of your ability. Do what you can to work with it in the way that you need to work with it. So with that, um, that's it for this video. If you uh, have any questions about uh, creating an email auto reply inside of Yahoo, then hit me up. Uh, send me a message. Uh, if you like this video and you find it helpful, then click like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to get additional how-to videos. Also, if you need more help with your Yahoo or any other thing that you're trying to do online, I do offer private lessons and there will be a link below this video or somewhere on my blog, depending on where you're watching this, where you can connect with me and uh, get set up for private lessons. So with that, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.